Laura Diaz live in Covina with his story. Laura. Well, Alex and Chris, the owner of the restaurant behind me, says he feels as though he's under siege, forced to close his indoor dining, not once, but twice. His, his catering business cratered. At the same time, he tells me when it comes to October 1st, he may just defy the county and open anyway. We either got to open 10-1 uh, or we're done. Time is running out for restaurant owner Cameron Saylor. His pizza parlor, popular with high school sports teams and locals, is barely hanging on. We had to buy all new chairs because we had benches before, so we bought all new chairs for the distancing. Six months into the pandemic, Cameron Saylor is exasperated and worried. His indoor dining closed not once, but twice. He estimates the closures have cost him over $100,000 in lost sales and renovations to his restaurant building to meet the new rules. This week on Facebook, he posted that he would open at the beginning of next month, even if he incurred the wrath of county health officials. His followers applauded. And I'm going to say, come join us, we're opening. And if, if they come in and want to find me and take my liquor license and shut down my health department permit, so what? <laughs> what does it matter? We're going to die anyway. Sadly, Sailor is not alone. Is. A Yelp data study underscores the economic devastation. It says 60% of the businesses closed due to the coronavirus pandemic are now permanent. Indoors at the Pizza Chalet, Sailor showed us the empty seats, the empty salad bar, and changes he made to his business to try to survive. Like a weary traveler, he expressed sadness over the business he has loved and nurtured, and whether he's at the end of the road. There's a point where you just say, I got to make a business decision for my family to be able to see what our future is going to look like. Tell me what this business means to you. <sighs> Excuse me. But, uh, it's just who we are. We've been doing it a long time. You know, it's. We're entrenched in the community. These, these employees have worked for me for a long time. I really feel for him, as you just heard, of course, the business, not just numbers on a piece of paper. That's his life stream right there. On balance, important to note, of course, that the virus is highly contagious. We remove our masks when we eat. So this is all the concern of county officials. Chris Ellix. Back to you. What a powerful story. I think he speaks for so really many does. different restaurant owners all around Southern California. Laura, Laura, what else did that Yelp study say? It was pretty interesting. Yes, on the face of it, the Yelp study was quite devastating when you see that uh, percentage there, 60%. But some people are getting through the virus quite well, mostly professionals like lawyers, real estate agents, and accountants. People like the person who owns this place right here, Cameron Saylor, they are hit twice as hard. Restaurants are being hit, and especially those in the city. So as you can see, a double hit for him. Yeah. yeah. Real estate sales way up uh, during all of this. Uh, Laura Diaz, thank you so much. All of our favorite restaurants suffering so much. All right, Laura, thanks. Coming up, Ventura County says it's discouraging.